happy Saturday. Okay, I might attempt to do a vlog today. I haven't even finished this, my makeup. Um, but I've got a whole day. The lighting just changed. Whoa. I've got a whole day without my little one, so I'm gonna try to run some errands and keep myself busy because it's just a little weird when you don't have that little person with you. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> um, so I decided to go to CVS, uh, do a little CVS haul. I had some buck rewards I could use. I can't show everything because they had um, some Christmas stuff that was on sale. So I found a few things I can use as gifts next year. The uh, hard part will be remembering where I put them so that I can gift them next year because that happened to me this year. I found the gifts after, so I guess those gifts will come next year because they're nothing that will go bad. Alright, first things first, uh, let's see, so since my hair has grown out and I'm continuing to let it grow, I don't know if you can tell, but um, my waves have come back. When my hair first, I got it, you know, chopped off really short, I lost all of my wave. But here recently, I would let my hair air dry and it was like, oh, okay, you're back, which is fine. So I was trying to find some products um, that are quick and easy to style my hair in the morning. I really wanted to find some kind of good curl spray because I think that's just one of the easiest ways. That and some cream. But this is by Herbal Essences and it's the Totally Twisted Curl Boosting Mousse. Um, so it's supposed to be weightless touchable curls because you know with your waves or curls you don't want your hair to be crunchy you just want it to flow um, so anyways I'm glad my curls are back well my waves I don't really have curls um, so now it's just <laughs> I'm having to remember how to style those things whoa look at my earring y'all okay next thing so I have tried the Hello um, toothpaste. It's the charcoal toothpaste. This one is anti-plaque and whitening. So I'm interested to try that out. It whitens teeth. Um, for Christmas, I got an electric toothbrush, which I'm enjoying. So I think with the use of that, and you know, hopefully with the use of this, I'll continue to either whiten my teeth or just keep them white. And I like something that really fights plaque because I can't stand that feeling. Um, on there it's like get it off anybody else with me Let's see. the last two things I'm going to show because some of this stuff is for other people I've heard a lot of good things about the L'Oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear and I went I was actually on the Ulta website even though I'm here at CVS to do a shade finder because you know like in the drugstore and stuff like that it's not really good to open these things up and they don't have any um, testers as far as I know so anyways this is my shade with my natural skin um, I like to self tan a lot I just I don't know it makes me feel more confident I like playing with the makeup more when I have a little bit of a uh, self tan going on but I did want to get a foundation for those times that maybe I haven't self tan and I just want to be natural um, I know I'm glowy with my highlighter here, but I really like matte foundations. There's just, to me, there's a lot of benefits. They, um, typically go on smooth. They typically blend well. And then it's a makeup that dries down well. Because the other day, I only had really time to do my foundation and some eyebrows. And I realized later in the day that, like, I had never set my face. So I had the foundation on and it was just... You know, it set itself, it dried, it, it wasn't moving around. And so that's the benefit to a matte foundation. Um, and so I just wanted to try this drugstore one. Like I said, I've heard so many good things about it. And um, the shade I got is Rose Ivory. I chose that uh, for the share, the shade finder. I chose that I have um, fair skin. And I think I have more pink undertones than neutral. In the summer, if I was to go outside and let let the sun get on me, I would tan, which is weird to me. But anyways, I still have like pink undertones. So I think I'll just test this on my hand. But Tati, if you're someone who watches her, she like raves about this. So 
So it's a fresh wear infallible and I think it's matte. That's me just assuming because you see where I put it. Um, it's, I would say liquidy. Sometimes your matte foundations when you take them out are um, a little bit thicker. Um, so I'm interested to see how this does. I hope I chose the right shade. I tried to be honest about my skin and not be like, no, I got some yellow in there. Because I think that's pretty when you have yellow undertones and like the olive skin. Um, this should be interesting. I don't know if it's actually a little bit darker. Probably can't tell right now. I'll have to test it on my skin and see. Uh, might test it tomorrow. Um, the last thing I got was a Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Mega Last uh, Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Berry Recognize. Um, you know, the good thing about Wet n Wild is it's not as, not as expensive, but I don't know quite about the quality always. It seems to rub off quicker. But I figured, since I'm going from, I don't have much makeup on today. Like I've got my foundation, bronzer, blush, highlighter. Um, I haven't done my mascara yet, but I figured if I go in to CVS and find a bold lip, then I won't need to um, really go crazy with my eyes. Okay, so let's just try this. I was going to pull down my visor, but that might block me, huh? And it's dark, but like I said... When you have a bold lip like this, it really helps to not feel like you have to do a lot more makeup. Oh, I don't know if I got that quite right. And I think I'm going to go get some coffee and talk about that. And let's just see. Oh, I don't know if this looks good, y'all. I might have to clean that up when I'm not on camera. Um, but going to get some coffee and uh, see if it stays on because I, well, <laughs> whether I was drinking it through the straw or not, it would still, you could tell. Um, it doesn't feel sticky. It feels like it dries down pretty quick. So that's good. Um, so yeah. Y'all having fun watching my vlog? Good. <laughs> Let's go get some coffee. I might put some mascara on too. Makes such a difference. Alrighty, I'm back. So I went to Salvation Coffee and if you've watched any of my other videos before, you know I've talked about this coffee shop. It's a local place here in Burlington. Um, and someone gifted me a gift card here. So I figured today, I would use it let's see okay and so they man, posted the other day that um, like a list of drinks that they could do regular or keto and I just love this place for their keto drinks because um, their sugar-free syrups are so good well they're the best they really are they don't have the aftertaste they've got great flavor um, it's just good. I mean, it's just good. So if you're local or coming through this area, I strongly recommend looking them up and trying them out. Um, I think I've said this before, but they're like, they're veteran owned, veteran friendly. Um, I think you get a discount if you're a veteran. I think um, possibly local law enforcement. So anyways, I haven't tried it yet. Also, their whipped cream is keto, so you don't have to worry about that and get that um, little treat. So this is Irish Wedding. Did I say that yet? This is Irish Wedding and it's got um, chocolate vanilla caramel. So this all must be sugar free. It may be made with heavy whipping cream. So <laughs> this might need to be my lunch, right? And dinner. All right, let's try this. Stir it up a little bit. That's good. It definitely and they call it Irish Wedding. It does like, um, ugh. other times I've had flavors that were like Irish something or 
maybe um, Bailey's. That's what it tastes like, except, you know, alcohol-free. Mm -mm. So yummy, Salvation Coffee. I'll tag them when I post this. Um, yeah, that might be the end of, this might be just the end of my vlog, wrap it up. Huh. I need to go, I forgot to get batteries um, at CVS and uh, Santa brought my little one a vacuum cleaner and Santa forgot to tell me that it needed batteries. So I had two C batteries, but we need three. So I might go to the drugstore up here and um, see if I could, I was trying to see if I could find a coupon but anyways, I could do that so he can actually, you know, play with his vacuum cleaner and enjoy it. Right now, it just, you just push it and it just, it's really loud. Okay, that was really interesting. Okay, maybe I'm done. Maybe I'll be back. Stay tuned. Okay, almost forgot to uh, end this video. Um, got all my errands done. I'm home now. Now to figure out what to do here. So, uh, let's just talk about this liquid lip. This is why L'Oreal is my favorite brand for liquid lipstick. Um, I'm just going to bring you a little bit closer here. If you can see, like on the outside, it's still there, but it has faded off here. So like if I, where am I supposed to be looking on this camera? Anyways, if I smile, it looks like this is gum when it's really my lips. So, um, the liquid lip by Wet n Wild was like five something. I can't remember how much the L'Oreal is, but it's worth it. Um, I love theirs. I, I don't have any complaints, I don't think, about uh, any of their shades. But, um, if you watch my vlog, I appreciate it. This is the first kind of, I think, vlogish thing I've kind of done. If you like it, let me know, and I will try to do more. Um, if there's anything you want to see, anything you want me to try, leave it in the comments. Um, if you're not on YouTube, leave a comment on Facebook or Instagram. Um, thanks for watching. I will see you soon. Have a great weekend. Mwah.